can actually keep the pieces of real candy. It's not paper. Another $10 worth of candy. So, do I give her paper candy? No, you're going to give her real candy now. Okay. Because she's buying the real candy. So, she can pick whatever she wants. now it's three for ten. No, it's a real one. <laughs> and elementary children will be way more excited about candy than yeah, you guys. I know, that's right? Like, Where's your excitement? Where's your joy? <laughs> Stop thinking about the carbs. Go eat the candy. Some people are smart with the homework pass right away. Shows where you guys' priorities at. Homework pass versus sugar. We're not there. I got $30 here. Sorry. Two bucks, so it's on your own candy. All right, Laura, what's the concept that they're learning from this? Okay, so basically, like for Brittany, she went up and heard the sale and she wanted the candy right away. So she learned that she's like, okay, I actually get to keep the candy, I get to eat the candy. So she ran to the candy table, and the price went up, though, because the demand went up. I was hoping more people would have flocked. <laughs> if they were six-year-olds, if they were, no, um, nine, ten-year-olds, they would. Then for, like, the homework pass, for instance, there was only three homework passes available. So since there was a limited supply of homework passes, the demand was much higher because a lot of kids don't want to do their homework. So they hurried up, they went there, and they had to spend the price that the seller was going to charge. And the seller could charge as much as she wanted for that homework test since there was a limited supply and a high demand for it. And that's pretty much it.